The human mind, the very essence of our being, is on the cusp of a rapid and profound transformation. Neurotechnology, once confined to the realms of science fiction, is now advancing at an unprecedented pace. Imagine a world where memories can be uploaded, dreams can be controlled, thoughts can be read, and digital immortality becomes a tangible reality. These are not mere fantasies. They are real scientific endeavors unfolding right now. In early 2024, a groundbreaking moment arrived. Neuralink implanted its first chip into a human brain. The recipient, a man paralyzed for years, achieved the ability to move a cursor on a screen using only his thoughts. This revolutionary chip works by recording brain signals and translating them into digital commands. It's a direct interface between mind and machine, a bridge across the seemingly unbridgeable. Elon Musk, the driving force behind Neuralink, envisions a future where this technology can treat a wide range of debilitating conditions. Blindness, paralysis, and even mental illness could potentially be alleviated through the power of neural interfaces. But the ambitions extend beyond mere treatment. Musk sees Neuralink as a key to unlocking human potential, enhancing our cognitive abilities, and ultimately ensuring our survival in an age of artificial intelligence. However, such powerful technology inevitably raises profound ethical concerns. The potential for misuse, should it fall into the wrong hands, is a chilling prospect. Imagine a world where thoughts can be manipulated, where free will is compromised, where the very essence of what it means to be human is threatened. These are not hypothetical scenarios, they are real possibilities that demand careful consideration. Beyond Neuralink, other tech giants are making strides in the field of neurotechnology. Meta's researchers, for example, have developed artificial intelligence capable of reading minds. This AI analyzes brain scans to predict what a person is seeing, thinking, and feeling. It's a window into the inner workings of the human mind, a glimpse behind the curtain of consciousness. The system relies on functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, to capture brain activity. This data is then fed into deep learning algorithms, which are trained to decode the complex patterns of neural firing. Through this process, the AI can translate thoughts into language, effectively giving voice to the silent whispers of the mind. The potential applications of this technology are vast and transformative. For stroke victims who have lost the ability to speak, it could offer a lifeline, restoring their ability to communicate with the world. It could also revolutionize fields like education, allowing us to understand how people learn and tailor instruction to individual needs. The possibilities are truly limitless. But with such power comes great responsibility. The privacy implications of mind-reading AI are deeply troubling. If our private thoughts are no longer private, what becomes of our autonomy? What safeguards can be put in place to prevent abuse and protect our mental privacy? These are questions that society must grapple with as this technology continues to evolve. Perhaps the most audacious goal in neurotechnology is the pursuit of digital immortality. Scientists are exploring the possibility of brain emulation, a process that involves scanning and recreating the human mind in digital form. This would entail mapping every neuron, every synapse, every connection within the brain, and then replicating that structure in a computer simulation. The potential benefits 
of uploading consciousness are profound. It could allow us to preserve our thoughts, memories and identities beyond the limitations of our physical bodies. Imagine a future where we can transcend death, where our minds can live on in a digital afterlife, exploring new worlds and experiencing new realities. But the prospect of digital immortality raises fundamental philosophical questions. Is a digital copy of a mind truly the same as the original? What is the nature of consciousness? What defines our identity? Is a digital simulation of a person truly a person or merely a sophisticated imitation? Is it a copy or just a simulation? These are questions that have plagued philosophers for centuries and neurotechnology is now forcing us to confront them in a new and urgent way. Researchers are also delving into the realm of dreams, learning to influence and manipulate them in real time. Through the use of sound, smell, and memory cues, they are able to subtly alter the content of our nocturnal visions. Imagine a world where you can choose your dreams, where you can escape the anxieties of daily life and enter a world of limitless possibilities. One technique being used is called Targeted Memory Reactivation, or TMR. This involves presenting specific stimuli during sleep to reactivate associated memories and influence dream content. Lucid dreamers, those who are aware that they are dreaming, can even respond to scientists while asleep, providing valuable insights into the nature of consciousness and the workings of the dreaming mind. But the ability to manipulate dreams raises serious ethical concerns. Who has the right to change someone else's dreams? What are the potential consequences of interfering with the subconscious mind? The potential for manipulation and control is a significant issue that must be addressed. Imagine a world where governments or corporations could use dream manipulation to influence our thoughts, beliefs and behaviours. The implications are chilling. DARPA, the research and development arm of the US Department of Defence, has been actively exploring the potential of brain implants to enhance memory. They have tested devices that can improve recall and learning abilities. This research is driven by the desire to create soldiers with enhanced cognitive capabilities, but the implications extend far beyond the battlefield. Scientists are also developing technologies to enhance our senses. Smart contact lenses that can zoom in with a blink are already in development. Implants that can boost sensory perception, allowing us to see in the dark, or hear sounds at great distances are also being tested. The line between human and machine is becoming increasingly blurred. We are entering an era of transhumanism where technology is used to augment and enhance our physical and cognitive abilities. This raises profound questions about what it means to be human and where the boundaries of our species lie. If you could upgrade your brain, would you? Would you choose to enhance your memory, your intelligence, your senses? Would you embrace the potential of neurotechnology to become something more than human? Or would you resist the temptation, clinging to the limitations of our natural form? These advancements are not distant possibilities, they are happening now. Neuralink is implanting chips in human brains. AI is learning to read our minds. Scientists are exploring the secrets of digital immortality and dream manipulation. The future is not something that will happen to us. It is something we are actively creating. We are entering a new era of humanity, an era defined by the convergence of mind 
and machine. Neuralink, dream hacking, and digital consciousness are just the beginning. The possibilities are both exhilarating and terrifying. The choices we make today will shape the future of our species for generations to come. Will you evolve with it, embracing the potential of neurotechnology to transform ourselves and our world? Or will you resist it, clinging to the familiar comforts of the past? Would you let a chip into your brain? The answer to that question will determine the course of human evolution. Like this video if you found it thought-provoking. Subscribe to our channel for more explorations into the future of technology and the human mind. And now, let us know in the comments below. Would you take the upgrade?